Hey guys, this is God of Politics, and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I am going to be discussing how Michael Bloomberg could possibly win the Democratic nomination. As we can see from this article by Politico here, they're reporting on how the DNC has changed the qualifications for the debates. So now candidates need 10% in four polls nationwide from uh, January 15th to February 18th. If we are going over to the national polls here, we can see that Michael Bloomberg in this situation would already have qualified. We see Bloomberg is 12% here, 11% here, 10% here, and 10% here. This would give him already qualifications for the next debate, uh, the one in Nevada, leading up to the Nevada caucuses. And I think this is very interesting because a lot of people, when when Michael Bloomberg first announced that he was running, thought that it was just a joke. It was just a waste of his money because he's skipping the first four states. He's not going to be able to do anything. But now some people, I, or I think, are and at least should be taking Michael Bloomberg a, li a bit more seriously. Because we look at this here, we see Michael Bloomberg has is now at 8% nationwide in the polls. You can see originally he was around 2% when he first entered the race. And now he's been on a steady rise, and a more continued rise, up into around 8% now. And he has been spending a lot of money on his ads, hundreds of millions of dollars at this point. He had his Super Bowl ad that most of you probably saw yesterday about gun violence. And that was uh, an interesting ad, and it might give him even more support. And there's, there's a situation in which, I think it talks about it here, there's a, it says the Washington Post article titled, It Might Be Time to Make Michael Bloomberg Seriously, where Michael Bloomberg could possibly win. And this is the situation where Bernie Sanders wins in Iowa and New Hampshire. Now, Bernie Sanders winning in Iowa and New Hampshire would probably propel him to victory in Nevada and maybe even possibly win in South Carolina. This would pretty much destroy the chances of Joe Biden, Elizabeth Warren, and Pete Buttigieg. That would destroy their chances. They've lost all of their credibility. They can't win in the first four states, any of them. And that would mean that, that Bernie Sanders, who can stop Bernie Sanders at that point? He's, he's got such a commanding lead. But then you see, if we're looking at the schedule here, you have the first for four states. But then you have Super Tuesday. You've got California, Utah, Colorado, Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, Minnesota, Alabama, Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia, Vermont, Massachusetts, Maine, all of these states go on Super Tuesday. And Michael Bloomberg has been the only one campaigning in those states so far. He has been campaigning all around the country, spending ads in those places, opening up campaign offices. He's the only one been campaigning in person in those places too. And I think that that could actually propel him because if we're looking at some of the polls here, we look, for example, in the Washington primary, he is at 12%. The Pennsylvania one, he's only at 7%, but if you look at the Florida one here, he is at 17%. And for example, if Biden crashes out, you see most of Biden's support would probably go to Bloomberg in this situation. He's been campaigning there. He's been campaigning in those places. He'd be able to take a lot of support from those places. You see in California, too, Bloomberg's only at 6%, but California is, is a more Bernie-filled place. You see in Utah, too, Bloomberg's at 10%, which is similar to the national average. But if you look at these Super Tuesday states, Bloomberg is polling better there anyway. And I think that what you'll see after the first four states, especially if Bernie Sanders does well, it might make Joe Biden completely fall off the rails and, and not be able to win the nomination at all. And that would give way to another moderate in Michael Bloomberg. And that I think would be very interesting to see because if Joe Biden falls here, you've seen he's maintained himself. He's he was at 27% uh, in August, and he is at 27% now. But the actual voting starts today. The Iowa caucuses are in just a few hours when you're seeing this video, most likely. Maybe you already know who's one of the Iowa caucuses. I have predicted that it will be uh, Joe Biden. But if it is Bernie Sanders, he will definitely win New Hampshire, probably win Nevada, and maybe even win South Carolina. And if that situation happens, Biden falls off the deep end, Warren falls off the deep end, and Buttigieg was even lower to where he was before, which is actually below Bloomberg. And that gives way to say, as I said before, who can stop Bernie Sanders? And you have someone who's been campaigning in all of these states already for the entire time, and you think, oh, maybe Michael Bloomberg can do it. Maybe Michael Bloomberg can get a lot of delegates in these places, especially at that rate, 
at that point, it would effectively be a two-way race between him and Bernie Sanders. And now we see that he's going to be in the debates, too, that expands his name recognition further than what the ads have already done. We see that people are starting to take him seriously, and he's been doing well in the polls. He is ahead of Pete Buttigieg officially. He's closing in on Warren, who I believe is going to completely fall apart just due to the fact that she's not going to win Iowa or New Hampshire. Even if Bernie or Biden wins it, it's not going to be Warren. Warren falls off the deep end in any situation for me. Bloomberg then passes Warren, becomes third place in the national polls before the end of the first four states, regardless of whether Sanders wins them all or not. It is just the question of what happens to Joe Biden. Does Joe Biden fall off the deep end? Does Joe Biden win any of the first four states? He probably will win South Carolina, but can he win Iowa? Can he possibly win New Hampshire? Will he hang on to Nevada? Can he get a big, a larger victory in South Carolina? And that, that that's a really interesting question that's going to have to be answered after we see the results of the Iowa caucuses. I don't know what they are yet. I'm recording this tonight before the Iowa caucuses. You're going to see this the day of the Iowa caucuses. I believe that there's a possible chance between Biden and Sanders. But if Sanders wins it, he will then win New Hampshire. And I believe Biden will continue to fall from there along with the other uh, two main candidates from these four, those first four states. And if you're looking at the betting odds here, we see Sanders is in first place in the betting. Uh, he's at 39% of the bets being made for Bernie Sanders. That's a 5% lead over Joe Biden, who's at 34%. Warren, at her time in the sun up here, having over a 50% chance of winning the nomination, she has now fallen all the way down to 8.6%. Buttigieg at 5.3%. Uh, and it they just have barely any chance of winning now. But what we see here, we do see Bernie Sanders at 39%, uh, Joe Biden at 34%, and then we also see Michael Bloomberg at 16% here. And he's been on a continual rise as well. He hung around for about 10% for about a month, but now he's been rising even more. He was at 12% just a week ago. He is now at 16%, and I believe that this will continue to rise as you see the chances of Warren and Buttigieg fading and maybe even Biden fading. And that is going to be very interesting to see because Bloomberg's policies do match up very much with Biden's. You see, the second choice of most Biden voters at this point is Bloomberg. The second choice of Bloomberg voters would be Biden, but Biden has has managed to hang on to his lead for currently. But will he be able to do that if he does not win all the states, all, any of the first four states? And that is a very possible scenario, in my opinion. We've seen from the polls, Bloomberg's, this is his highest poll, 17%. He, he's been doing well enough to garner enough support to get some delegates in some places. And Missouri gets 14%, which is in second. And a lot of polls in these Super Tuesday states, Biden is currently winning them right now. But if Biden falls off the deep end, who will take that place? Not Bernie, and especially in places like Texas, Missouri, all of those places. Bur uh, Bloomberg's been campaigning in all of these places already. And I think that... A lot of people have to really watch out for Michael Bloomberg. Nobody's really taking him seriously, but I am telling you now, I believe that there is a very good chance that Michael Bloomberg could win this thing. I believe almost the chances of him winning are almost as high as the chances of Biden and Sanders winning. I believe at this point, I would agree with the betting odds that Bernie does have the best chance, followed by Biden. But I believe that Bloomberg will continue to rise in the betting odds, continue to rise in the national polls, continue to do well in the Super Tuesday polls, and he will do better on Super Tuesday, in my opinion. I believe a lot of people should be watching out for Michael Bloomberg because I believe that he has a very real chance. And I believe that he would beat Donald Trump in the 2020 election due to him being a moderate. That's arguable, but I believe that it would happen. And I just believe a lot of people should watch out for Michael Bloomberg because nobody's really given him much attention. But I believe that it's very possible that he can win this thing. So I thank you all for watching this video. This was just to point out that there is a real shot and that not many people are giving him. So please like and subscribe as always, and I'll see you guys later.